What if I told you that A-level exams are just like a game? And like any game, once you know the rules, winning becomes a whole lot easier. Hey everyone, I'm Jack from Easy Money Exams. I graduated with a first class degree in biochemistry, but here's a little secret. My teachers never taught me the most important lessons about acing my exams, not even once. Today, I'm here to share with you the insider tips and strategies that I developed on my own throughout A-levels and uni. We'll dive into the specific topics you need to focus on to not just pass, but to score an A or an A-star in A-level chem. And this is specifically for the AQA syllabus. Let's get started. So this on the screen right here is every topic that can be introduced to you in a question from paper one. Okay, so right here we have all the physical topics and then in yellow you have all the inorganic topics. There's a lot of content here, right? So I'm gonna save you some time. Let's look at which topics you should focus on to get the biggest return on investment in terms of your time of revision. So if you're not too sure, if you haven't seen it already, I've already done this analysis, but only from 2017 to 2022 in a previous video. And this is the results, all right? So at number one, we have acids and bases, thermodynamics, then transition metals, atomic structure, amount of substance, etc. This is the number of marks available, right? So across the six papers, acids and bases received 92, thermodynamics received 74, etc. I'm not gonna go into detail here, if you want far more detail, check out my previous video linked in the description. But let's look at how things changed in 2023. Spoiler alert, it didn't change, okay? What was the most marks received, paper one 2023? Transition metals, then thermodynamics, then acids and bases, atomic structure, KP, electropotentials, okay? What does this red box show you here? This is the total marks or these topics that would lead to you getting an A. Okay, so even though if we look at the grade boundary here, an A is 72 marks or 69% of the paper. If you got all of the available marks for these six topics, you would get a high A, you know, nearly bordering on an A star. Okay, so that's what I wanna get across to you guys is, it's the same topics year after year. So focus on these topics and you can't go wrong. Right, so we looked at 2017 to 2022. As I said, guys, things have not changed. There are rules to the game. Examiners don't wanna to spend tons of time changing the types of questions that come up. The specification has been around for a while. And guess what? There was a specification before that and a specification before that. They have a very specific framework of question banks that they can pull questions from, okay? So they wanna test your knowledge on acids and bases, thermodynamics, transition metals, atomic structure, amount of substance, and KP. Okay, these are the biggest ones. And then you obviously have everything that trails off after it. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said these are all the topics you need to know. Well, you want to spend your time revising wisely, okay? If you're like me, I had two other subjects, maths and biology. Biology takes up a ton of time and so does maths doing all the past papers. So you wanna be as efficient as possible. Obviously, there's more topics beyond this. The next one was KC after group seven, and I think it was like 16 marks across seven years, guys, okay? So let's finish off this video looking at a table Screenshot this, send it to your mates. I don't really care, but take advantage of it. Seriously, take advantage of it. If I could, if I had a time machine, I could go back in time and give this to myself. It would have saved me hundreds of hours, all right? So what we have here is a list of the top 11 topics for paper one from 2017 to 2023. This column right here is the frequency. All that means is how many times did this topic come up? So for example, Acids and bases is a real big boy right here. It came up every single paper. So there's only been seven papers so far for paper one, and it's come up every single time. Thermodynamics right here has come up six times. Transition metals, six times. Atomic structure, seven times, etc. Okay, you can pause the video and read through this yourself. Now, bear in mind there's a concept that I like to think of as topic stacking. So for example, amount of substance, even though it only came up six times and constituted 63 marks, it stacks into so many other topics, okay? The knowledge and the rearranging equations, etc., that you learn within amount of substance 
falls into thermodynamics, it falls into acids and bases, it falls into KP, it falls into atomic structure, time of flight questions, it, it falls into transition metal calculations as well, okay? It feeds into so many topics, so be aware of that topic stacking is a thing, so start with the fundamentals. What are the two fundamental topics I advise to all my students, and they've had insane success with this, atomic structure and amount of substance, okay? Master the fundamentals of these two topics, and it will help you so much with all the other topics. All right, lastly here, average marks per paper. So what I've simply done here is just divided this total marks by the frequency to give you the average marks per paper that that topic appeared in. The top five ones here would be these ones, okay? This is where I would focus. Acids and bases, thermodynamics, transition metals, atomic structure, amount of substance. Ideally starting with these two and then building from there. And then I would branch out my revision further. So, you know, a bit of cheeky electro potentials. Then I'd chuck in some inorganic. So some period three, some reactions of aqueous ions, etc. Okay, this is where I would start, guys. Use this table however you want. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more videos to help you save time and revise more efficiently, like the video, share it with any of your friends that are doing chemistry. I'm sure it will help them out. Best of luck in your revision and upcoming exams, guys. Until next time, peace.